All right. I'm here with Victoria Vertuga, and we're here to talk about Pulled Blows the Wind. I was floored by this movie. I absolutely loved it. Fantastic movie all about. Yay! I'm so happy to hear that. That's amazing. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's great to get some feedback. <laughs> so my first question is, um, how did you get involved with the film? Yeah, so um, Eric Wilford, the writer-director, is actually my writing partner. We've worked on quite a few projects together um, over the years, and this was a script that he had written before we started working together. We had an investor that was interested in working with us, and we were looking through our projects, trying to figure out what would kind of lend itself to the budget that they wanted to spend, and this this script, because it was like very contained, uh, small cast, you know, minimal locations, kind of just worked really well, kind of worked the best of the other things that we had in our arsenal, so we went with this project, so yeah. Um, I had read this script um, like maybe like a year before and given him notes on it and liked it and thought it was great but never really saw myself as Tasha specifically or anything like that just thought it was like a great script and you know gave some notes and whatever and uh, it was really cool to then reapproach it again and be like oh cool now I'm playing Tasha and dive in and kind of figure that out so yeah that's awesome and one thing I absolutely loved in the film was I, I'm calling you the reaction queen because the way <laughs> you reacted to these situations throughout the film they were so like you had this shocked look on your face for like a good portion of the film. Yeah. Because of it, your husband's, de the husband's decisions on what he wants to do. And it freaked you out. It's like, it totally freaks you out. And just, yeah. just the way it, and it must've been great working with, um, Dan Danelle Leva yeah. as your husband. What was it like working with him on this? Yeah, so me and Danelle are friends. We we go way back. Um, so we had been in like a class together years before, and I threw him in um, my web series that I did a few years back. Uh, and obviously, he's got a, a background in gymnastics, right? He's an Olympic medalist in, gym in gymnastics. So he's very good at like the stunts and the physical stuff. And this role required a lot of physical. So I I thought that it would be a good fit for him. So um, yeah, that's that's how kind of how that came about. And yeah, super fun. Obviously, uh, great great working with everybody in the cast we were so lucky to have like really really awesome people yeah speaking of really awesome people last jamie. year I, got, I interviewed <laughs> jamie last year and such a such a wonderful person and the fact that i've noticed lately she's been taking roles that we're not used to like we're used to i'm yeah. used to her as the final survival girl type in horror films and now as of late she's doing more oh, different types of roles this is probably one of the best roles she's done, like against type. To see I her play it. the antagonist, this like she comes. I, I like the fact when she comes in and she gives a soft story. And I think my one of my one thing I absolutely loved was as you guys walk into the other room and she yeah. just yeah she just one of my favorite she, she rolls she rolls her eyes like. Hundred like, percent agreement. One of my favorite moments when she did that on set. That was just like a choice that she'd made, and we were like, "Yes, please keep that. That's friggin' amazing." Yeah, she's so good in it. Honestly, my scenes with Jamie were probably my favorite. Uh, it was just so awesome to work with her. She's such a joy to have on set too. She's you know been doing this for so long. She's also a producer herself, so she like really gets it and she understands how to be a good collaborator, like a joy to have around on set. So she, it was just yeah, all around amazing working with her. I think I think the role of Briar is so fun. She freaking does such a great job of it. It's yeah, it's definitely one of her best roles because yeah. you know we get to see her eating the scene in the bathtub with you and her, and yes. that's where we start to see like her a little bit of the, what's going on with her, like. Yep. You see all the bruises and you start you, you know you're worried about her but then she gives out the demonic you know voice and i'm going oh snaps now something's going on here something first is right. glance, yeah first you're thinking it's gonna go first you're thinking the movie's gonna go one way yep you guys try to hide and then once jamie's character comes into fray it just goes completely left field but in yep. in the best way possible like yeah that little twist was amazing yay and, that's awesome and then yeah, the fact that what I, what, when I read the script, what I loved about it was it, it was it was full of twists and turns. It was just like so fast and easy to get through. Um, and I think the movie we did, it, hopefully we did a decent job of keeping that pace and that feeling. And like, it, you know, it doesn't lag. It's always it's always like things are coming at you. And, and I like that. I also like the idea that um, Dean and Tasha aren't necessarily very likable. You know what I mean? They're like a little uh, they got their issues. So it's it's fun to delve into that because I, as a reader, usually if I'm, if I don't find the protagonist or the, anyone in the story, particularly sympathetic, usually you're like, whatever, I'm not invested. But for some reason, even though I didn't really like these characters when I read it, like first as a casual observer reader, I was still invested in the story. And I think that's really hard to pull off. So I think Aaron did a really good job of that. Well, on my, on my viewpoint, I, I did not like Dean at all, you know, cause he was oh. the one who, he's the one who masterminded us so much and so much of the terror and, you know, the fact that what he did to the jogger, you know, even though the, 
you, but you, I felt like Tasha, I felt like more sympathy for because yes, that's how I, I mean, obviously as an actor, I'm, I have to approach it, right? Like I'm, I'm obviously going to think that Tasha is trying her best and whatever. Like, so yeah, I feel way more for Tasha. It was, what's really funny is on set, like our crew, we had very divided, some people felt really bad, believe it or not, for Dean. And some people hated him. And I hate him. I'm going to hate him, Cam. But I have to be because of my role, right? Like, what yeah. he does, I have to. So I cannot stand Dean. I think he's, like, the worst. You know, there's, like, maybe a few moments where I feel, like, a little bit of, like, empathy towards him. But some of the, ca- the like, crew members and stuff were like, no, poor Dean. He tried to do the right thing. And da-da-da. Like, so it was really, yeah, it's so Is funny. He- <laughs> it's <laughs> very polarizing. Trying very interesting. Trying- Trying What's to like, like when the jogger tries to escape, like are you telling me like people were feeling for him like stabbing the guy? I'm like, no, 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 no. No, I think obviously later on as things develop or whatever, but like I'm with you. But what's been my favorite is like so we we came up, we're just coming off of our festival run. And my favorite part of like being in the theater with people watching it is like the verbal reactions to Dean and like his behavior. It just it's so funny to me. Like some people are like, this guy, like what an asshole, like you know, just that certain <laughs> little things he does. Um, and what's funny too is like like I mentioned when I I first read the script I didn't necessarily you know identify with the role of Tasha or things like oh yeah I really want to play that or I, uh, whatever anything about it really but um ironically enough just because of the dynamic between me and and Danelle playing who plays Dean there's like more me in this movie I think than any role I've ever done in terms of like my actual like attitude and my reactions to like how, how I like, Victoria would behave in a situation because of just like the dynamic between the two of them arguing and doing their stuff it's really funny so it's like it's in some ways it's like the most me I've seen in something I've done which is funny because I don't I don't you know I'm not particularly like Tasha well, like I said life. your reactions to like the situations it's like yeah. it, it could be it could be seen both comical but at the same time yeah. more like you know you totally feel for her at the same time so it's kind of yeah. like a, like the, the faces you make like you're like like you know like freaked out it, it's like something you've seen mean pro- most likely you know 100%. Like- yeah yeah well i mean you have to think about it right like you're you're this is the person you've like you've been married to and been with for so long and like they're this is what they're doing i mean that's crazy like it's a crazy situation to find yourself in so yeah for sure like hopefully i yeah conv- accurately convey what that feels like to to see somebody that you love or you thought you loved or whatever that you've committed to on some level behaving this way right yeah and then of course yeah. comes comes the second half of the film where um something happens I don't spoil too much of it but um it involves Tasha a lot yep and I even though this little incident happens to her I still feel for her because I feel like she's gotten she got the short end of the stick altogether yeah. like she got she got like I think she got played for a big time and of course yeah. she's the price for you know agreeing to these actions even though she reluctantly agreed to the actions but she still re- agreed so ultimately I felt it was karmic in a way yeah. for both for the agreed. Couple. agreed agreed absolutely yeah it's like it's like too little too late right for 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 both of them um so yeah that that's what was really interesting to explore obviously i had so much fun in the second half of the film acting like that's like like we had an amazing stunt coordinator on set this is my first time doing like stunts in a film and i loved it um i have a kickboxing background so like i love that stuff but uh i told her like after this i was like all i ever want to do is like talk shit and kick ass and like everything <laughs> i do from now on it was just so much fun so yeah i, loved I said it. that about jamie last year because she told me she had she had a dance background and she's telling yeah. me like uh you know, she goes, she was talking to a guy who did, who did stunt coordinating. He goes, you do kicks like guys had to like, took three, tight, guys in Taekwondo took like three, two to three years to, to do. And she mastered it because of her dance background so dance easily. Background. It's choreography, right? There's there's so many yeah. similarities between fighting, like fighting and dance for sure. Um, It's very like, yeah, learning, learning the choreography of stunts is very similar to learning the choreography for dance. So it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact you come from a kickboxing background yeah. you get to, and you get in to show those skills, you know, even though we have a horror film here, the, the fact that you get to do that little little fight in there was pretty wicked. Yeah, and I like, it was you know, so fun. So fun. And the fact that you, and I like the fact that uh, Jamie kind of looked like, I, I'm going to spoil, spoil a little bit, but she kind of looked like in one of your, a dream sequence, she looked like Jigsaw. You mm-hmm. know, like she comes up to you and mm-hmm. you, after you, um, mm-hmm, 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 after, mm-hmm. after you guys did the <laughs> unthinkable and she comes yes. back and like haunts you like no tomorrow. Yep. I'm surprised she didn't haunt Dean. She should have haunted Dean. Yeah. I swear. Yeah, I, think... I thought something was going to happen to him from her at one point. Like, yes. I was, yes. I was expecting that. Like, because I don't really think, I think that in, in a weird way, I think that she's trying to help. I mean, she's trying to get the outcome, right? So, like, she's trying. Uh, Briar is trying to get the outcome that she wants so I think in some way she is actually trying to help Tasha that's why she's that's why she's haunting her and not Dean because she she knows that that's gonna like what that means for Dean right like 
yeah, she's interested in Tasha. She's not interested in Dean from the very beginning, right? In terms of right. like she has that like magnetism towards. So yeah. And of course, I mean, just the opening sequence where we see Jamie reciting the little song. I mean, that was haunting. That's when yeah. I knew. Right when I saw that scene, I knew I was like, "Oh man, this, like, this is gonna be something Jane, I've never seen Jamie ever do yeah. before." This is, gonna be, this is gonna be so cool. I, I was What's like, "So I, funny is that was our first night of filming, and there was actually like a lightning storm. So if you actually watch the the footage of her singing, you can actually see like it's not CG, like lightning strikes happening." Yeah, I kind of know. I did notice that, like little, like you see like, little little flashes of light as she. Yes, there was actually like a lightning storm going on um, during our first night of filming. <laughs> So yeah, it, but it was so creepy on set. It was so cool. Like, yeah, she did, yeah, fantastic job. Just the creepy way she sings the cre the open the theme song or whatever in the opening and closing credits. It's crazy. Yeah. So my next question is, how long yeah. did shooting take? How long did it take to shoot the film? And yeah. besides the lightning storm, with other other oh god, okay, yeah, Ooh, this this one this one tried to kill me. So we had seventeen days. It was uh completely. It takes place completely over the course of one night. So it was all night shoots. So seventeen days of night shoots. Uh, believe it or not, we lost our original location two weeks before filming um, due to a fire. Oh, wow. So we had to scramble and find a new location. So we were really lucky with the place that we ended up shooting at. It worked amazingly. In some ways, I actually think it worked better than our original. But because it was so last minute, she had a bunch of other she, – there's a lot of, like, shows that film there and a lot of music videos and other things. So, like, we had to uh, fit our schedule around her existing dates. So she had, like, two days of this filming, one day of this filming. So it was a very weird schedule. It was, like, two days on, three days off, one day, you know, whatever, just making it work. Um, so it wasn't obviously 17 consecutive days or even, like, five and three and five and three. It was just – four and two and whatever we can make work in that in that uh, window uh so yeah 17 days of night shoots uh yes obviously losing our location to a fire then we had yeah uh lightning night one um we had oh my god so many things went wrong we had a cat so the place where we were filming the woman also um who owns the property also runs some does some work in animal rescue so there's like a lot of cats that are on her property and stuff so unbeknownst to us a cat had gotten stuck in our grip truck like during like in between shoot days so when we show up to set the next day there was like a very pissed off cat it was fine thank god but like who would just wreak havoc in our grip truck like destroyed things and made a giant mess and whatever so yeah we show up to that and have to deal with that on our last end of filming which the last night was the fight scenes between me and uncle stevie and me and dean um we are like prepping the ground because you know you, when you do these don't the fight scenes you put like mats down you know obviously for the comfort of the yeah. actors and put tarps over them so we were just kind of raking the area to make it flat and unbeknownst to us there was like a tiny like a pipe like this far under the ground that we nicked while we were raking oh, flood flooded so oh, and man. these are night shoots and this point at this point it's like you know i don't know midnight or one in the morning already and so we're like frantically trying to figure out how to turn the water off without having to wake the owner up and and like scooping buckets out fortunately one of the guys on our crew used to be a plumber so he was able to like figure out where the water came from and turn it off but we spent like two hours just like you know cleaning up the water and trying to deal with that this is like our, oh my god it was chaos so yeah we had floods we had fires we had cats getting stuck in the grip truck it was a lot I felt it felt to me like every day i showed up there was like some disaster um which you know it felt like a horror movie of its own <laughs> it was it totally was and i know like that's you know there's obviously inevitably things go wrong you know on set in producing it happens but i've been very fortunate with my past projects where like you know nothing super major like actually my car my car got like my battery died or something, something went wrong with my car one time and i had to leave my car at this location or whatever but like in general my past productions have been pretty smooth so it just felt like a lot going wrong for this one i was like it's trying to kill me it won't succeed but yeah we made it through um despite all that everyone like a lot of our cast members told me or crew members told me like it was one of the most fun sets they've been on you know we were able to keep it fun and and uh i don't think anyone knew i was like going home and having panic attacks uh so yeah we were able to <laughs> keep keep that keep that under wraps and then still have a good you know nice environment on set and still have fun with it uh but yeah this was definitely challenging lots of things going wrong like out of your control just crazy things that you're like what this is not something i was expecting to deal with you know that's awesome. Well, the film is hitting the has hit the film circuit, and you you actually won some awards. Yeah, which is awesome. And uh, so, what are some of the awards you won for the for the film? Yeah, so we um we basically cleaned up at Horror Hound. That was like our biggest thing. So we won um like the two biggest awards, best feature and judges' choice, as along with like I think Eric won won writing and directing. We had um uh nominated also for editing and acting for me and Jamie. Um, I think uh we won a best feature at um best California feature at uh, Days of the Dead Film Festival. Uh, lots of nominations for me and Jamie. I don't think the two of us won anything that I know of. I don't think we won anything. But yeah, the the, the film itself won a couple of best feature awards, which is awesome. So. We will take that gladly. 
That's awesome. Well, I will have the link in the description where you can rent the movie because yeah. I absolutely love this movie. Yay. Um definitely, you know, right now I got the World Film Geek Awards coming this Friday and this movie's gonna be up on uh, contention for next year's. So I'm nice. doing all films from November to next October, and Fantastic. I'm already got this film in contention. So fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I'm so happy you enjoyed it. It's it's so nice. You know, it's obviously so vulnerable every time you make something, you put it out there. So it's great when people respond well to it. it it's awesome. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> yep, got my, a couple of my notes. <laughs> popped in out of nowhere. She's like, I want to be in the, in the thing. Come on. I, I, wanna, uh, I also run a dog rescue. I'm a crazy pit bull lady. Um, so yeah, I have three rescue pits and I run a dog rescue here. So I'm a huge dog lover. So yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So everyone, I got to tell you, if you like a good horror film, you definitely want to see Cold Wind, Cold Blows the Wind because Victoria and Jamie, I, in my opinion, they, they, were, they knocked it out of the ballpark here with their performances. Great movie, lots of twists and turns. And Victoria, thank you so much for taking the time to talk about it again. My absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you so much for checking it out and um, sharing your enthusiasm. I love it. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, y'all take care and y'all have a good day.